Hello, my name is Life California. I'm in the 11th grade at High Tech High Tula Vista, and I'm super excited to share this space and talk about reimagining education with all of you guys listening. Without further ado, this is my spoken word on reimagining education. The words reimagine, rethink, recreate are not new to the average high tech student. To reimagine is to escape from the norm, dive into unknown, to recreate is to inspire, to build, to act. Through my 10 years at high tech, I learned I must actively acknowledge to teachers and admin that this concept of reimagining is not mutually exclusive to us students. As I was told countless times again that the norm is meant to be challenged in our non-traditional school, I too fell into this comfortability and blindness of being progressive enough. I learned quickly that the institutionalized values of grades over health and tests over creativity did not care about our progressive label. I no longer want to accept the normalcy. I want to dive into the unknown. My mind yearns for reimagining, not just for an assignment, but for schooling as we know it. I want to recreate, I want to build. I want us to, for a moment, not answer to anyone else but the students' needs. It is due to this connection we've built within our high-tech community that we have the tools, the tools to reimagine and recreate what school can look like, feel like, provide. The words reimagine, rethink, rebuild, they swirl my brain as I write this in between assignments. I think about the letter grade that will follow these assignments. I think about how we are awarded these letter grades like medals. I think about friends of mine deserving of gold medals in community engagement, in kindness, in creativity, are given medals that do not reflect those qualities we wish to value, but rather the task of pushing submit on Google Classroom, reimagining is questioning who is being centered. If it is the students and it looks like having honest conversations rather than memorization, study lessons each day, it feels like knowing I will succeed without following the path of others because my experiences in class allowed me, who reimagined, who rethought, who with their community rebuilt for our education, all of ours, from teachers to students, where we can teach one another. Together, let's reimagine. Thank you, Life California, for kicking off our conference by grounding us in our purpose and our why for the work, because the ultimate why for our work is our students, and you are truly living into your name, just giving us life this morning. Welcome to Reengage DL 2021. My name is Dr. Michelle Sadrina Pledger, and I'm the Director of Liberation at High Tech High's Graduate School of Education. I'm thrilled to be your conference cruise director this morning and over the next three days. Actually, some of y'all are from all over the world, so it could be evening, middle of the night. We don't know, but we're so glad you're here. This is our eighth almost annual deeper learning conference and our first ever virtual deeper learning conference. For my social media mavens, the hashtag that we're using is hashtag deeper learning conference. I know it's really long, but get into it. I'm going to be real with y'all. Last year when we had to cancel our conference, tears were shed, definitely by me, maybe by some of you. And now we've all experienced a year of fluctuating feelings, including despair, hope, pain, and recovery. And some of it is very recent. Even within the past seven days, we've witnessed tragedy in Atlanta and Colorado. And we know this hits home for many of our attendees. So we want to invite everyone to take the time you need, and our community will do our best to hold you. I'm grateful that we're all here to re-engage our commitment to the liberation of self, others, and systems through the implementation and proliferation of deeper learning. I'm honored to be on Kumeyaay land today in full knowledge that this land was stolen and with complete understanding that Kumeyaay people exist in our past, our present, and our future. If you happen to know whose land you are settled on right now, I invite you to just type it into the chat. We wanna honor the land that you're on as well. I just wanna offer that some ways to transition land acknowledgements into action are to donate to the indigenous and tribal causes in your area, to modify your values by engaging in related protests, to integrate indigenous content into your curriculum and to learn from indigenous ways of being. We're gonna take a moment to ground in with gratitude for the land that is holding us up, for the air that is giving us life and the beauty that is all around us. I'd like to welcome Micah and Oscar from the Mind Body Awareness Project, who will help usher us into collective breath, community, and deep connection. Beautiful. Thank you for that introduction. Uh, my name is Micah Anderson, and I am the clinical director at the Mind Body Awareness Project. Um, honored and grateful to be here today with y'all just to uh, help kind of provide a little bit of grounding before we get this uh, this conference started. Um, you know, a little bit about myself. Um, I'm an associate marriage family therapist in the state of California. And um, I, like, as I mentioned, I run an organization along with Oscar uh, called the Mind Body Awareness Project. And we work with 
youth and adults in um, really under-resourced uh, places and from backgrounds. And we train them and we train the people who serve them. Um, and we're, our approach is mindfulness-based, and we, we uh, offer mental health tools that can support equity, belonging, and ultimately empowerment. And I love the fact that you use the word liberation as well, so I want to throw that in also, because we're all for liberation. Um, that's a little bit about me. Let me just pass it over to Oscar, and he can say hello to everybody before we get moving. Yeah, at first, I just want to say that I'm honored, I'm thrilled to be with all of you. Um, I just want to welcome everybody into the space. Um, I'm looking forward to spending the next few minutes with you in this collective uh, ritual to, to get connected. And um, a little more about me, I've been doing this work with the youth uh, for the last 10 years um, with Mind Body Awareness Project and, and with other organizations. And uh, um, yeah, I look forward to, to spending a little time with y'all. Cool. Yeah. So I guess the question is, why are we in front of you guys right now? Like, why Mind Body Awareness Project? Um, first of all, it's about liberation. And I heard you guys mentioning self and then community. And it's been my experience that uh, I've got to focus on my own liberation internally first before I can help to liberate others. Because I know that sometimes this has been really, really up and down and all over the place this last year, right? We know it's been a really challenging year for a lot of us. Um, hopes, difficulties, challenges, all those things that were mentioned and even recent ones. So I know that for me, it's, um, it's felt like this year has gone really, really quickly. I don't know if anyone else has had that experience. And one thing I love about mindfulness, this ability to kind of ground ourselves and to, and to make an intention to, to be as present as we possibly can. Right, especially when we're launching a, a, something like this over the course of three days. So what we want to do is we want to take you guys through just a brief meditation, and Oscar's going to lead it for us. And if you haven't meditated before, that's fine. All you really need to do is just allow your eyes to close when Oscar asks you to. If that's comfortable for you, sit in a way that's kind of upright and let him take you for a ride. And we're going to do about three or four minutes. And uh, I'll let Oscar talk a little bit more about, uh, about what, we'll, what we'll be doing. But please, Oscar, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Micah. So I'm just going to invite the whole group to go ahead and, uh, if you feel comfortable, to go ahead and close your eyes. And if you don't feel comfortable closing your eyes, you can keep your eyes open and just resting uh, on one spot in the room that you're sitting in. And go ahead and allow yourself to just feel your body, feeling the weight of your body on your chair, your, your seat. Adjust your body if you need to. Maybe you need to adjust your spine, drop the shoulders, let the face drop. And as you feel your body settle, connect to your breath. This breath that's been breathing you a lifetime. And connect to the rhythm of the breath. Maybe it's choppy and fast or slow. Whatever it is, just allow yourself to just feel the breath breathing you. Now for the next three minutes, just allow yourself to be here in this moment. This might be the only three minutes that you get to be connected to yourself without having to do anything. So honor that time right now, right here. Honor whatever it is that you're feeling in this moment, excitement, joy, possibility. Maybe it's more difficult emotion, sadness, uncertainty, whatever emotions are here, allow those to be here and welcome those as well. Welcome all the different parts of you that are here right now. Now from this place of self-connection, 
allow your awareness to extend to all of the other people who are connected in this conference with you. All of the different reasons that brought people here, the different histories, the different places, we're all gathered here together. So just feel that sense of togetherness and belonging that's here, that's present also. Both the complexity of that difference and also the beauty of it. Sharing this common purpose to support these youth during these uncertain times. As you've connected deeper with yourself and now deeper with the larger group, I'd like to see if there's some intention that you'd like to set to be in this space for the next three days. How do you want to show up? What's really alive? There was something that brought you here. And see if you can connect to that thread right now in this moment. Once you connect with your intention, see if you can anchor it in your body. Some place in your body that feels calm, alive, free. And when you're ready, you can start to open your eyes, come back into the larger space. And I think Micah's going to get us lined up with the intention for the rest of the group. All right, all right. Thank you for that, Oscar. So let, let's get some words in the chat box. What came up for people? I'd like to just see some words. Were, were there some intentions that people had? Was there a word that you landed on? Let's see that chat box starting to blow up. Come on, y'all. Hope, beauty, beautiful. I'm going to read as many as I can. Curiosity, liberation, thread and anchor, patience, peace, Beautiful, world peace, nourishment. I can't even keep track of them all. They're coming so quick. Inspiration, anticipation, beautiful, beautiful purpose. This is what we want to see. See, because setting these intentions, this is what we're this is what we're going to be birthing for the next three days. All these things. Mindfulness, rooted, beautiful, understanding, growth, intentionality, listen and feel. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Comfortable and free. I love it. I love it. Recentering, nice. Memories, beautiful. Community, yes, yes. Beautiful. Connection. All right. All right. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for that. And really, it's a, you know, sorry it's going to be so short, but we've got a really tight schedule today. So we want to keep it moving, folks. But we're really grateful. <clears throat> From all of us, Oscar and myself from Mind Body Awareness Project in Oakland, California. Grateful to be with y'all. And uh, yeah, may this three days, may they be blessed and may they be filled with all of these intentions. Thank you, Oscar. Thank yeah, you. just grateful to be in the space. Blessings to all of you on this over the next uh, few days. And just to let you all know that we are going to be doing a little session on Thursday at 8 a.m. if you guys want to connect with us for a longer 45 minutes um, on mindfulness. And, and uh, so, yeah, great to be here with all of you. Thanks again. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah. Thank you, Micah and Oscar, for unifying us and preparing our hearts, minds, and bodies for this journey ahead. The fact that over 400 people from all over the world just marinated in meditation together just is really nurturing to my soul and hopefully to yours out there too. I just really love that. We're all here because we either believe or we're curious about the power of deeper learning to transform the lives of young people. Deeper learning is something we want to see spread for more students more often, especially for students who are historically, traditionally, and routinely marginalized by the institution we call education. In an effort to support shared language, here's what we mean by deeper learning. It's learning that integrates these six competencies, critical thinking, content expertise, communication, collaboration, self-directed learning, and academic mindsets. Whether you're here to engage, sustain, or deepen your capacity to foster deeper learning, you've come to the right place. 
The Reengage DL 2021 team has curated a virtual extravaganza that keeps the essential elements of our face-to-face -face DL conference, like the opportunity to engage in genuine exchanges between our community of learners. If we were in person, I'd invite you to show them some love as you see them flittering about the conference and the forum. But in our virtual space, I'll just ask that you look at their names and their faces and show them some love in the chat or if you see them in a breakout room throughout the conference. This planning team, the media team and our esteemed pit crew, as well as our student ambassadors and facilitators are here to support your learning adventure. We have deep dives, keynotes, workshops, dins, and so much more. So get comfortable with engaging in dialogue, sharing promising practices, actively working with our students to design educational spaces that serve and honor our communities. In essence, we're inviting you to experience deeper learning together. That's why I'm super excited about the inclusion of advisory this year. There are so many change makers here. Yes, I'm talking about all of you. And advisory is an excellent space for reflection and connection. Reengage DL 2021 is not an event. It's a collection of transformational experiences whose impact we never get to know fully, and that unlimited potential excites me. Ooh, and we, I'm really excited about this. We have some new additions to the conference, so I want to highlight our sandbox sessions where you'll have opportunities to play, explore, and connect with others. You'll find them on Sketch right next to the speakers tab. Our incredible DL planning team member, Nuvia Rulin, spent hours designing a Topia world just for you. Topia is a place for casual connections and conversations, and it has this spatial chat feature. So when you log on, you'll see your avatar. And as you move your avatar closer to other avatars, you'll be able to see their actual human face on the screen and hear their voice. When you move away from their avatar, their face starts to fade and their voice becomes faint. So remember, just like in real life, you need to be in proximity with the person to hear and see them. You can use landmarks in the world to have meetups. You could say, oh, let's meet up by the ocean or let's meet up by the basketball courts. Everybody who knows me knows where I will be because Nuvia put a dance floor in this Topia world. So I will be at the dance floor. I'm not sure if she did it for me, but my self-centered part of me feels like it was for me, but she likes to dance too. And if we ever get to do this face-to-face -face conference again, we're going to take you to a place called the Booty Basement in San Diego because both Nuvia and myself and others love to get down at the booty basement. So in this Topia world, we got our own booty basement with the dance floor. DJ Rodrigo is going to be there. He's also known as the Chilean champ. So definitely come to the dance floor. All right, enough plugs for the dance floor. You can zoom out to see the whole world. And then you can also zoom in to get connected and just follow your footsteps. So hopefully we'll see some of y'all there. We also have DL on demand videos with mind, body, and soul exercises. Check out the five minute cardio video by fourth grader Neela. It's incredible. You'll get a work up a sweat in just five minutes. There's a five minute meditation. My personal favorite video is the five minute karaoke connection. It's a how to karaoke video that Tina Schuster and I had a blast filming. We really hope you check it out. So when the spirit moves you, take some time to play in the sandbox and find joy in this DL journey. Let's check out the event flow. So today is all about deep dives. I'll say a little bit more about that later, but tomorrow we're going to kick off with a keynote from Dr. Allison Tintinyanko Kubales, followed by an equity amplifier in advisory. And if you're like, what's an e equity amplifier, Michelle? Well, you got to go to advisory to figure it out because it's going to be amazing. And then we have round one of workshops, den talks, then an advisory on the speed of trust. On Thursday, we've got workshops round two, a closing keynote with the one and only Aisha Bain. She is fire. And that will transition us into our final advisory, Bold and Beautiful Visions. That's a forecast of your future. Now let's peruse your present. By now, you've selected your deep dive. And I don't know how y'all were able to make a decision because they all sound amazing. Our deep dive facilitators have gone above and beyond say, to craft an informative and interactive session. Check Sketch for the link to your deep dive. But before you head there, we're going to close out our opening ceremony with an acclaimed special guest musician, Nubaya Garcia, who you do not want to miss. Y'all know that music is like eco-friendly fuel for the work we do day in and day out. So I invite you to open up your mind, body, and soul. Nubaya and her band will close us out. Then we invite you to make your way to your deep dive by 945. And I'll be back with you all tomorrow. Here to formally introduce our musical artist is executive director of High School for the Recording Arts, Mr. Tony Simmons.
Hi, I'm Tony Simmons coming to you from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm the Executive Director of the High School for Recording Arts and co-lead the New School Creation Fellowship at High Tech High Graduate School of Education. First, let me say that I love deeper learning and I miss being with all of you. Deeper learning is very special to me. In addition to being the premier place where all of the truly fierce and badass educators from around the world convene, Deeper Learning has always been a place that celebrates creativity in all respects, but especially music. And I have had the honor to contribute in that space in my small way over the years by arranging for some of the most incredible artists of our time to share their music and vision for a better world. Artists like Talib Kweli, Sounds of Blackness, Speech from Arrested Development, and the phenomenal DJ Mickey Breeze. Props to my little brother Tim Jones on the Speech Connect, along with some incredible student performances. This has been a hard year. I know that people have found various ways to cope. For me and many of you, music has been my healer. I've heard that music is like water. At its best is when it captures a moment in time a feeling, a sentiment. That's why I'm excited that once again, music is at the onset of our time together. And in this COVID remote connection year, distance and borders doesn't matter. So we were able to search the world for an artist who is not only a phenomenal musician, but also represents all of our deep learning values, our belief in the human creative spirit, our inextricable connection to each other, our drive to continue to improve and innovate, our passion to nurture learners and share our learning. And last, our insatiable desire to feel and spread love. With that, I am proud to introduce one of the fastest rising jazz saxophonists on the globe, Nubaya Garcia. Nubaya is of Guyanese and Trinidadian immigrant background, born and continuing to reside in London. Her sound has been described in Rolling Stone magazine as big, commanding with a patient improvisational tone made to feel contemporary and simultaneously ancient. Mm. Her sound has also been described as soulful and according to the New York Times, it's time to make a way for Nubaya Garcia. And we are about to do just that. So without further ado, coming to Deeper Learning 2021 from London, England, Nubaya Garcia and her incredible band. Thank you so much, Tony, for that warm introduction. And thank you for inviting me to join you at the Deeper Learning Hub. I'm happy to be a part of your work towards building communities. My name is Nabaya Garcia. I'm a saxophonist, composer, and band leader. Um, my team, my band, my friends, and my family are my community, and they've helped me get through this past year. Education is what has shaped me and has had a big impact on both my life and my career. Whether you're a student, an artist, an activist, or an educator, and all of, or all of the above, engaging in learning with your community matters, as only through pushing boundaries together can real change happen. I've also learned that finding a balance between work and personal is very, very important, even if you're chasing your dreams, when you're chasing your dreams, remember to take the time out for yourself and don't let the pressures of life be the sole focus. We all appreciate the Deeper Learning community for reimagining schooling as places for all kids to thrive. Here's a performance of music from my new album, Source, and joining me is Jarm and Jones on keys, Daniel Casimir on double bass, Sam Jones on drums, and we really hope you enjoy. And thank you so much, and congratulations on your event today.
train coming Don't need no baggage You just get on board All we need is faith 